Internet, it's Story here, and welcome back to another video. This one is a throwback tag, and I figured what better time than now to do this type of tag. We're almost up to the end of the year. The link to all the questions will be in the description below. Um, be sure to send some love and totally tag yourself and do this if you want to do it. It's pretty fun. Number one, what year were you born in? 1991. Number two, do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger? And if you do, show them. Um, duh, of course I do. Here's uh, one or two that I managed to find. That one with the bow is possibly one of my favorites from when I was a kid. There is a really embarrassing, well, two really embarrassing photos that I'm sure my mother will one day hold over me. So thankfully I won't be showing those here. Number three, what TV shows did you grow up watching? Oh, a lot. Um... So I didn't really watch TV. I think the earliest show I can remember watching on TV was Power Rangers, like the original Power Rangers. Um, and then I remember like later on in life when I really started to just like remember shows and like love them was Kim Possible, Lizzie McGuire, um, Rocket Power, Wild Thornberries, like that era of TV shows still my favorite for sure. Number four, what did you want to be when you were younger? A lot of things. I wanted to be a Pokemon trainer. I wanted to, there was a presentation that I did where I wanted to be a interior designer, um, which is still kind of like, I like doing that type of thing. Um, what else did I want to be? A singer. That's the big one that like to this day, I wish I stuck with. Um, I, you know, I don't really sing in public anymore at all really uh but I do love singing and I love music um and I really do wish that I stuck with it but that's that's the big one that I wanted to be when I was younger number five what were your favorite toys to play with um I was a tomboy when I was younger uh I really liked playing with Legos and um matchbox cars and uh Pokemon was also one that I was really into yeah I would say those are my top ones that I remember. I know Pokemon, I played both with the cards and also on my Game Boy Advance. Advance? Is that what I had? My Game Boy Color. That's what I had. Number six, what's the most embarrassing thing you can remember doing? There's a lot. I'm a very awkward person. The only thing that's coming to mind is I'm thinking of that, one of the photos that I mentioned. Uh, there's a photo of me where I walked around naked in my house with only my mom's red heels on. And there's a photo of that. Um, so, but I don't really know if I was embarrassed at the time. Because, like, I was, like, four, maybe even younger than that. I really don't know. I do a lot of embarrassing things, like, weekly. So. Number seven. Three songs you loved to listen to as a child. Um. Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. Um, any Disney song and third one would be Because You Love Me by Celine Dion. Number eight, what was one funny thing you dressed up for Halloween when you were younger? Um, I don't know if it's funny, but I, I mean, kind of to me at this point it is, but my mom by hand made me a bride outfit. Um, I don't actually remember wanting to be a bride, but like I don't know, but uh, it did not last the night. Only the veil did because it, it rained and poured. And I was really young for that. I was at maybe like four, I think, when that happened. <laughs> so that was one funny thing that I dressed up as Halloween. Um, the other ones were like the basic princesses. So pretty boring. What was something weird you used to do as a child? I have really bad memory. Uh, it was something weird. I don't know if this is weird, but... When I went to Disney World, I was with my grandfather and grandmother, and I guess I really, really didn't like the, um, oh, what is, what is his name? The, uh, Sesame Street character that lives in the trash can. But anyway, he was following me. <laughs> So when I would turn around, it would just look like a trash can, but then like he would be following me and I got, apparently I got very, very mad. So that has stemmed into my current life too, because I'm the same 
now. And finally, number 10, what's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? Oh, I know. Uh, so when I was younger, I had uh, a playroom that used to be one of my stepbrother's rooms. Then they moved out, so it became my room where all my toys were and everything. And I remember my room was, like, right next to it. So, um, one night, and I still cannot really tell if this was, you know, asleep or not. But I just remember I had this boombox in there. And it was pretty new. So, it was, like, a couple weeks after Christmas, so I just got it. And... All of a sudden, at like the middle of the night, I woke up because it was playing music. So I woke up and I went in and turned it off, went back to sleep. It went off again that same night. And so I was finally like kind of freaked out, but then I like unplugged it just to be safe because I figured maybe, I don't know, maybe it like it's new, it's plugged in, so maybe it has like an alarm thing going on. But then I went back to bed and it happened a third time. And all I remember was thinking, because <laughs> I went in and I was like half asleep and I didn't, I kind of forgot momentarily that I had unplugged it, but then I went in and thought it was unplugged. So it was like right out of a creepy, scary movie and it was playing. And I remember I took the batteries out and then I hid it in the closet of my playroom. And then I continued on my way to go to bed. And I still think about that. Um, we still have that boombox, actually. Uh, it's used in the garage now. Um, and as far as I know, nothing weird has happened. But, I mean, I'm convinced that my house is haunted, so who knows. So this has been my throwback tag. Thank you for watching. My name is Story. Please, please leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I put up videos every weekend. And I will see you next time, Internet. Mm -hmm.